Robert Reed in the sitcom he plays Mike Brady. In 1969, when he was in the series, he was 37 and sadly passed away on May 12, 1992 at 59. Six kids and me and Tiger all adds up to work. What work? Vacuuming, dusting, making the beds, cooking the meals, washing... Florence Henderson in the sitcom she plays Carol Brady. In 1969, when she was in the series, she was 35, and sadly she passed away on November 24, 2016 at 82. Anything. What's the matter with that? Six kids and no noise. That's what's the matter with that. <laughs> Anne B. Davis in the sitcom she plays Alice Nelson. In 1969, when she was in the sitcom, she was 43, and sadly she passed away on June 1, 2014 at 88. Not a I'm just getting in a little practice house. Yo, wait a second. Is this yours? And most Bobby's. Tell him it won't be if he doesn't keep it out of the kitchen. Take it up to him. Ken Berry in the sitcom he plays Ken Kelly. In 1974, when he was in the sitcom, he was 40 years old and sadly passed away on December 1st, 2018 at 85. It's then one, you know. Of course, we could put another bed in Matt's room. Uh. See Lindsay Workman in the sitcom he plays Bertram Grossman. In 1970, when he was in the sitcom, he was 46 and sadly passed away on April 24th, 2012 at 88. Ooh, with a lot more space. Yeah. I know, Mike's taken me through it. Half a dozen times. No, it's, uh, it's gonna be fine. What about this house? Have you talked it over? Will I find a buyer? <laughs> Pete Herbert in the sitcom he plays Mr. Driscoll. In 1969, when he was in the sitcom, he was 55 and sadly passed away on June 23rd, 1989 at 74. Carol! And that's the last one I have. Keep running out. Boy, will Cindy be happy. I'll take it. Okay. Friend Ryan in the sitcom she play Mrs. Hunsaker. In 1970, when she was in the sitcom, she was 53 and sadly she passed away on January 15, 2000 at 83. Mrs. Hunsinger? <laughs> Hi, Bert. Well, have you uh, had the royal tour? Well, what I haven't seen, I've heard, Mr. Brady. <laughs> Marcia Wallace in the sitcom she plays Mrs. Robbins. In 1971, when she was in the sitcom, she was 28, and sadly she passed away on October 25, 2013, at 70 years old. Magnificent. Michael Lerner in the sitcom he plays Johnny. In 1969, when he was in the sitcom, he was 28 and sadly passed away on April 8, 2023, at 81. With his eyes? <laughs> <laughs> and with a few little extras. What kind of extras? Uh, for instance, a license with the. How Smith in the sitcom he plays Cartoon King. In 1969, when he was in the sitcom, he was 53. Sadly, he passed away on January 28, 1994, at 77. And a baseball mitt, lefty, and a bow and arrow set, and a... Oh, all right, Sonny, I'll do all I can for you. Uh, now, you just run along and be a good boy, will I'm you? only half... Victor Killian, in the sitcom he played Mr. Stoner. In 1970, when he was in the sitcom, he was 79, and sadly he passed away on March 11, 1979, at 88. I think that's still too much, right, boys? I agree, Dad. Me too. Well, I, I gotta give him something. Uh, how about 20 now? Jim Beckers in the sitcom he plays Zachariah T. Brown. In 1971, when he was in the sitcom, he was 58 and sadly passed away on July 3, 1989 at 76. Their equipment, they plan to stay a while. Yes, sir. I wonder how they heard about my strike, huh? But it won't happen again. Vincent Price in the sitcom he plays Professor Hubert Whitehead. In 1972, when he was in the sitcom, he was 61 and sadly passed away on October 25th, 1993 at 82. Med Oliver, a sticky wicket. What are we going to do with these boys, Oliver? He keeps crying, I think. J. Pat O'Malley in the sitcom he plays Henry Tyler. In 1969, when he was in the sitcom, he was 65, and sadly he passed away on February 27, 1985, at the age of 80. 
Hello! Uh, Mike! So you decided to show up after all, huh? <laughs> Jack Collins in the sitcom he plays Mr. Phillips. In 1970, when he was in the sitcom, he was 52 and sadly passed away on January 31st, 2005 at 86. <laughs> well, I'm sure you didn't call me in here to throw darts. What's up? Mike, uh, you've always gone all out for this company. I mean, Saturday. Jonathan Ho in the sitcom he plays Thackeray. In 1970, when he was in the sitcom, he was 66 and sadly passed away on February 11, 1998 at 93. Marsha Brady. I never heard of her. Any relation to Nicholas Brady, 1659 to 1720? Jackie Coogan in the sitcom he plays Harry Tuckan. In 1971, when he was in the sitcom, he was 57 and sadly passed away on March 1st, 1984, at 69. Went to a shop. What my wife told me, uh, there wasn't that much damage done to your car. Well, a uh, matter of fact, uh, she banged up my car pretty bad. Stephen Dunn in the sitcom he played Mark Millard. In 1971, when he was in the sitcom, he was 53, and sadly passed away on September 2nd, 1977, at 59. How can I eat Alice when I can't take my eyes off you? Oh my! <laughs> You've blossomed with the years, Alice. Fred Bincott in the sitcom he plays Mr. Stokey. In 1969, when he was in the sitcom, he was 49 and sadly passed away on August 2nd, 2004 at 84. Thanks. Thank you for the Brady Boys. Oh say, I'll bet that's that giant telescope kit they sent away for. Greg, Peter, Bobby! Boy, we've been waiting for... E.G. Marshall in the sitcom he played J.P. Randolph. In 1970, when he was in the sitcom, he was 56 and sadly passed away on August 24th, 1998 at 84. Or oh, that remark. That's right, Mr. Randolph. Marsha, I'd like to believe you. You've always been a good student. Herb Vigren in the sitcom he plays The Examiner. In 1970, when he was in the sitcom, he was 60 years old and sadly he passed away on November 29, 1986 at 76. <laughs> Bart LaRue in the sitcom he plays coach. In 1971, when he was in the sitcom, he was 39 and sadly passed away on January 5, 1990 at 57. That's hitting it, Larry. That's the way to hit it. Gee, the Rams can sure use you. <laughs> hey, Dad, what time is it? Oh, that's about it, Deacon. Brady's gotta go. Herbert Anderson in the sitcom he plays Dr. Cameron. In 1969, when he was in the sitcom, he was 52, and sadly he passed away on June 11, 1994, at 77. Hours and the workload and the, you know, the problems of not having a, a, an associate. And so we've decided to combine our practice. <laughs> Barbara Morrison in the sitcom she plays drama coach. In 1970, when she was in the sitcom, she was 21. And sadly, she passed away on March 16, 2022, at 72. You are much too young to be receiving flowers from a stranger. Much too young. <laughs> Dick Winslow in the sitcom he play Mark Winters. In 1971, when he was in the sitcom, he was 56 and sadly passed away on February 7, 1991 at 75. Sure, great human interest stuff. We have a lot of human interest around here. My brother and I just fixed my sister's radio. That's fine, son, but one story at a time. Joseph Mel, in the sitcom he played drug guest. In 1970, when he was in the sitcom, he was 55 and sadly passed away on August 31st, 1977 at 62. I suppose these freckles she has a real big problem. They're ruining her life. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Gordon Jump in the sitcom he plays Collins. In 1970, when he was in the sitcom, he was 38. Sadly passed away on September 22nd, 2003, at 71. In the Valley Book Emporium, Fisher's used books on Vineland, the old press on Chase Boulevard, <laughs> and Elmo... Alan Melvin in the sitcom he plays Sam Franklin. In 
1969, when he was in a sitcom, he was 46 and sadly passed away on January 17, 2008, at 84. Hi, Sam. Well, tonight's the semi-finals of the Supermarket Bowling League. Yeah. Our sweet cutters against the... Marjorie Stapp, in the sitcom she played Mrs. Ekstrom. In 1969, when she was in the sitcom, she was 48 and sadly she passed away on June 2, 2014, at 92. Parents, what'll we do? Settle it democratically, I guess. We'll have to limit each cast member to only one ticket. Each child can decide for himself which member of his family. 